Welcome to another episode of Life and Whiskey. As always, I'm Jordan, and today we're going to look at McLeland's Highland Scotch. Um, so, funny story, picked this bottle up by accident. Didn't know anything about McLeland's um, at the time. Didn't know what I was doing. I was looking, so my wife and I started getting into Isla Scotches pretty heavily, and if you've ever looked at them, most of them are pretty spendy. Came across the shelf, looked at the little tag, Saw the tag for McLeland's Isla Scotch, $29.99. So I grabbed the bottle. Well, this is the grab. This is the bottle that I grabbed. Um, I did not know that there were other expressions of McLeland's. Um, and this bottle was sitting where the Isla should have been. Um, and right next to it was the Highland. So what McLeland's does, it's, uh, is it Beam Suntory? Uh... The Beam Suntory product, um, they import it, and um, they do expressions each year from different regions of Scotland, right? So they got the Highlands, I got the Isla, that'll be the next video that I do, uh, Lowland, Speyside, Campbelltown, so on and so forth. Um, if you're looking for a really nice, good whiskey, good scotch, that is cheap, affordable, everyday drinker kind of scotch. I highly recommend that you check out these McLeland expressions. Um, picked them up for $29.99 here locally. Uh, yesterday, my wife and I drove around town, went to a couple different liquor stores, checked out some stuff, found it as cheap as $27.99 for the Highland and the Isla. Um, the most expensive I saw it was... Um, the Highland for 32 and change, something like that. And the Isla at the same store was like 36. So none of them are extremely expensive. Um, when, when I made an Infinity bottle, an Isla Infinity bottle, I used the Isla to make that. And uh, I'll talk about that more in the next one. But um, they're cheap enough that if you want to make Infinity bottles and mix stuff around, they're great. They're just really nice representations of each region. And um, really, for the price, they're kind of hard to beat. So if I can get this for $27.99, my Monkey Shoulder, which is a Space Eye blend that I really like, um, could pick that up for, it was $25 and change. I've seen prices are now starting to jump up, I'm guessing, due to all the COVID crap and whatever else. Um, prices around the world are probably going to start rising on stuff. So... Um, and maybe a little inflation as well. Um, so now we're up to 26 bucks. Still not breaking the bank on that one. But uh, let's get into this. The, is it a, the single malt? Um, and, uh, you know, for a mistake, it was a happy mistake that, uh, you know, purchasing this, um, that led me to find the Isla and uh, kind of learn a little bit more about all this. So. So on the nose, um, it's kind of that butterscotchy, sweet, malty, a little bit of, um, man, people would probably think I'm nuts, but like strawberry Twizzler in the back. There's like this strawberry cream note of some sort in there. Um, Kind of a nice Highland expression for sure. On the taste, sweet, malty forward, moves into a butterscotch. Butterscotch kind of picks up like a salted caramel. Um, and then you kind of get that strawberry finish. Um, and then it dries out and kind of malts out and dissipates again. Um, really nice. Easy drinking, super easy drinking. Um, if you need a good, cheap scotch, I highly recommend the McLeelands. Uh, just super nice. If you didn't tell people what you were pouring, whether it's this or the Isla, um, as long as people are fans of that style, I bet that they would guess that to be a much more expensive variety than what it is. And for a single malt, you can't really complain too much. Yeah, flavor profile didn't really change. 
sweet malty notes up front, caramel, a little bit of uh, salt, like salted caramel kind of moves in, um, nice creamy mouthfeel, coats the tongue a little bit, um, just a great cheap expression. Highly recommend it. Uh, let me know what you can find it for in your area. Like I said, from here in town, $27.99 was the cheapest. I paid $29.99 for this, and I found it for 34 change or 32 and some change. Um, kind of the more expensive place that I found. So um, I'd be interested to know what you can find it for in your area. Also, if you've ever had an experience with McLeland's, whether it's this or the Isla, that'll be the next video. Drop in the comments down below what you think about it. Um, I'm a fan. I like that. Uh, this and Monkey Shoulder will probably be my two day-to-day -day easy drinkers uh, if I want to just have a nice drink without breaking the bank. It's not a special occasion or something like that. So, um, yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Um, drop in the comments down below anything you got to say. As always, have yourselves a great day. We'll catch you in the next video.